Hello everyone and welcome back to some more of school stuff. It is at last time for the very first caving adventure. Now, the funny thing, right, is that even though I've been saying I've been playing so much school stuff in the past and it was one of my favourite maps, I played it tons and tons and tons, I really don't remember anything about the caves and that is not the right direction at all. Yeah, like in all of my playtime between me and my husband, we only really did the caves once, otherwise we just rarely progressed. Um, oh, oh, that looks like it'd probably be it. Right, cool. Yeah, no, we, we rarely did Scorched Earth at all. We rarely did the caves at all, let alone the boss. I think we only ever did Manticore like once. That's definitely a cave. That looks like a cave to me. And uh, yeah, so I really don't remember anything about these. So this is actually going to be a bit of a blind run in a way. Um, only thing I remember is that one of the caves does involve a bit of falling or uh, like potential pits, I think. Otherwise, we are here in what I think is the old mines, and my strategy is going to be to use a whole bunch of mantas. I want to see what a group of these can do. Uh, good to know, not what I meant. Cool. Yeah, so I have the correction on me, is it has occurred to me that I've never done a wiped at all since the server's been running. So. Oh, I really should level these into health, shouldn't I? Maybe like 3,000? Or maybe I'll just go full melee and all of them actually. But yeah, uh, so not only has there not been a single dino wipe, but at the same time, there could be however many destroyers, and I really am kind of concerned. It didn't occur to me until kind of close to the last minute as I was getting my things. I've already made all the saddles. I, you know, I want to do this for Mantis. I brought my Thyler as well, just in case. And I got a nice maxed out swords from my island blueprints. But otherwise, yeah, no, that's a, that's a definitive, uh, <laughs> an absolute definitive destroyer risk here. Oh joy, I split on the road already and I don't have a clue where to go. Well, normally in most of the island maps, ooh, it's all about going right. So I guess I'll just keep on going right. I wonder how they're going to act or respond. Oh my god, with um, the Arthur Plural armor. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's there's already a rubble golem. Well, that's why I've got you to try and do the melee, except uh, I... Oh, wait, you're up there. Oh, I guess... And the bleed even, yes. Yeah, try and do the bleed. Right, while I work on this, the rest of you kind of want to know what happens if they go for the Arthur Plura. See if they take full damage or not. Or I guess just neutral. Overall, actually, just defend yourselves, and I'll just keep going with the golem. Uh, they did just kill one Arthur, I think. I didn't see any damage taken. Well, they're actually doing decent damage to the golem. Damn, 128 is not bad. It's dead. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's try again. Oh, it did 90 damage to it. That's definitely a bit of a chunk, isn't it? But, I mean, it did slice it quite nicely. There's another one up there. And, of course, we've got all the quality spawns as well. Wait, was that a 165 I just saw? I'm pretty sure I did just see that. <laughs> Fun. Right. First cave drop of the entire map. And from this, I get a Merlotop's blueprint. I'm pretty sure I've already got one of those. Right, since we've got a couple more Arthur Plura, I'm thinking I'm actually just going to shoot them down. So one over there, one over there. Try to do as much early damage as I possibly can. Oh, obviously don't want to get hit by the... Oh, I just set my own bloody thing on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Sure. How much damage that? Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna put you away, son. <laughs> that was a bit much. Oh, that golem just kind of popped out the floor there. That was freaky. Uh, can I set fire to a golem? No. But I can, at the very least, just quickly set the alpha player on fire. And then just... Oh, oh, you can just fall down. And just bleed the golem to death. Ah! Oh, God. That was a much bigger animation than it needed to be. Yay! That was loud and dramatic. Awesome. Let's put my armor back on. And it looks like we're going down anyway, so I may as well go ahead and just jay whistle and jump... Oh, get off. Jump down. Oh, God. There's so much crap over there. Die! Go forth and... Oh, no. Not the bats. I might have neglected to bring a rather important something with me. <laughs> so bats are not particularly the most ideal. Oh, can we all fit through this little gap here? Oh, of course you've got to be awkward. 
Okay, we're on the other side now. The first thing I spot is a red crate, which feels uh, remarkably free. Ooh, that's nice. Weird about the minimum survivor level requirement, though. On the helmet. Oh, yay. I think um, I, I might just be making this up, but I've always felt like that the Ascendant blueprints for the helmet was always the hardest part. I mean, I've got Gilly, right? So I'm not really sure how much I'm using now, but good to know now that I've got it. And there's the artifact, which is remarkably tempting just to leap down. I mean, I am on a final clear. I suppose I can actually just leap down. Um, <laughs> it's funny. I brought the mantis over to do all the work for me, and I'm just so tempted just to do everything for Thaler instead. I mean, go forth! Oh, wait, go forth! Have fun! Slash! Maim! Devour! Go flying! Is that two golems? That is two golems. Goodbye! <laughs> Okay, guess I'll do this bit myself. Ow! Did I? Was that another one? Or did it just bounce back? Oh, no, there's a second one. There's two of them. Yeah, okay, it was double golem. Oh my god! <laughs> that goblin, that rock went flying! Well, at least everything's doing damage downstairs. I can see something is taking a lot of damage. Oh, but something just did 1300 damage. So yeah, they're definitely defending themselves. Whatever's going on, they're managing it. Okay, after being viciously punted, there goes level 35 one. And this one here is only a 5. Kind of tempted just to, like, let it kite downstairs. Nah, I'll get rid of it. Did that rock just harvest its friend? It did. Uh, I mean, I suppose it makes sense. I just don't agree. Alright, there we go. What's that one down? Give myself a lovely- Oh, that's not what I want to see. That's what I was very afraid of. Uh, ooh, my oh, another mantis. What was that one? Ooh, overall to crap. Gonna go ahead and check out the floor. Another chainsaw. Um, destroyer warning. But where? Oh! Uh, perhaps down there. What was that? Is that a mantis? It's a mantis. Of course it's a mantis. Did all my mantis die? No. Where are my mantis? Oh, they're all down below. What? Uh, I could just summon my Karcher. I kind of don't want the mantis, like my mantis to die. I could just, oh, guys, guys. <laughs> how, about, how about we just give it a helping hand, right? You know, <laughs> this is a little cheeky. Wee! <laughs> Farewell. Goodbye. It's fleeing. Um, cool. Oh, something happened. Oh, one of my mantas going after it. It's just, it's just fleeing. Oh my god! Oh my god! Karcher's not even involved. It's just a single manta soloing it. All right. Well, uh, I guess I'll carry on the cave then. Uh, which way am I going? <laughs> this way, down here. Can I just like... Well, I suppose I could just land right there. I mean, why not, to be honest? Mm, yeah. Oh, that, that's not what I wanted to do, but I actually worked out really nicely. And... Yeah. Well then. Oh, I don't have an otter. Why well, do I have an otter anyway? That's a god, Megalania. 145! Okay. Well, anyway. Oh yeah, the spear. I forgot about the spear skin. Something's attacking. No, it's just a different mantis going after, going after a scorpion. Otherwise... <laughs> that mantis is still vibing. You know what? Hold on. Let me just uh, slurp you up real quick. And I'm just going to whistle every... No, not onto you. Go away. No one cares about you. Well, actually, I, I would, but I'm too busy focusing on this instead. Go on, all of you. Go for it. At least the ones I can, anyway. Oh my god, why was I even so- Oh, I got a Megalania saddle. Thanks. Perfect for my 145 Megalania I just sacrificed. Bloody hell, though. I severely underestimated these. So I suppose it fleeing helped, and one of them did take a lot of damage. Right. I do believe that's this cave done. Okay, well, I'm already back to the little uh, duct area. I'm just quickly do this. I feel now is a good time to remind everyone this is double spawns, so like double seasoned spawns, not a single dino wipe. Quality dinos, destroyers. Um, <laughs> I went 
a bit too smoothly. Right then. Oh. <laughs> you have fun, mate. Oh, I like how even as I go into the entrance, you just like immediately hear the howling. The wind. Right, what do we have in here? This is the Grave of the Tyrants. And I'll summon my army as soon as I see something. Ooh, ooh. More of the funky glow worms. Is that a golem? It's a elite direwolf. Direwolf? Oh, well, I guess it makes sense. I mean, Scorched Death is a little bit different after all. Okay, let's check out all of the manti. And of course there's a bloody lake in the way. Or river. <laughs> I know what a lake is. I mean, just just leap and hope for the best. No, wait, there we go. Oh, they're all just going to get stuck. Well, one of them, two of them made it, but they're going to fall in, aren't they? Oh, you are doing damage, though. Oh, you just flew over. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, go away. Oh, that's so awkward. Well, there's a little pathway here, but still, that's so awkward. Oi, get the wolf. Kill this thing. Get that. Leap. Oh, you, you nearly leapt. You definitely tried. Kill the wolf. Oh, I mean, that works too. Guess I'll just have to uh, <laughs> resummon all these in a second. Oh. Oh my god, the amount of things hidden in this little river right here. I guess I should just go ahead and clear away first. Oh yeah, it's a golem. Yeah, okay, I guess I'll definitely go ahead and clear first. Oh, that's a megalosaur. Oh, that's a megalosaur. I want to be really careful of that, actually. Oh no, wait, I'm, am I stuck? I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck in a rib cage. Oh. Oh, wait. No, there we go. Thank you, Gollum. You absolutely displaced me. In the best way possible. Guess we'll just uh, carry on then. That looks like it's very nearly dead. Meanwhile, all my mantas are still just, you know, swimming, chilling. Absolutely contributing. Saber teeth in a cave. Interesting. <laughs> Can I wonder? Can Gollum just drown? I technically have oxygen, although it's not actually doing anything. Right, well that should bleed to death, and meanwhile, that Megalosaur is a level 15. Baby! Okay, meanwhile... Oh, well that failed horribly. Blue drop gave me some desert cloth. Another blueprint, lovely! Uh, it's funny, right, because even though I like my ghillie, there's always just been such an appeal about, you know, quality desert cloth. I think it's because of the rarity, because you can only get them in cave drops. So back when I was like new and young with the game, it was always really exciting to get, you know, the very first bit of desert, especially because like I said earlier, right? Did I just, oh, I thought my Jabal just pooed on me. Uh, I thought I just saw a boulder go flying. Anyway, especially like back in the day when I was, you know, when we played the crap out of Scorched Earth, we never had any quality desert. We were always running primitive, whatever gilly we could muster. So, oh, this is a very interesting part. The, the amount of megalosaurs ahead, hello? Is this the way to farm Megalosaurs outside of Aberration? Oh, I suppose Ragnarok as well, actually. Level 20, level 50, level 15. I mean... It... I, I want to use... Oh, there's another one right there. Level 135, damn. Um, careful. I really don't want to aggro these. I've still got bloody PTSD from the tech cave. All those many months ago. Like, I want to do this on the Mantis, it seemed really fun, but I think I may as well just do this on the Thyla. There's so many- oh yeah, like, the, oh my god, hello? Pathing wouldn't really occur here. I'm just gonna do it on the- I'm just gonna run ahead, <laughs> screw it, look at this! I can, therefore I may as well. At least until I come across a destroyer, and then maybe I'll summon something. Oh my god, well at least this finally feels like seasoned double spawns. Like, finally I got some quantity, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh god, there I go. Whee! And we just keep norming, we just keep norming, we just keep norming, and we just keep norming. And this is where I remember rabies. Uh, uh, there we go, just keep running. <laughs> just, oh, damn you, Araneo, no one asked for you. Ooh. Ah! Really? Did you just bounce to say Yeah, it did. It did bounce itself. Right, well, I suppose i got to deal with this first. Actually, can I? No, damn it. I, le <laughs> I left Joey Jira outside. I want to get that red crate. God, I love Thyla Bleed. Thyla Bleed is so good. Right, is there anything down here? I think it's actually quite bare. There's Aaron A on the other side trying to attack me, but otherwise, I'm just going to go dive in and hope I don't instantly regret it. 
Wow, it is laggy underwater, but my red crate, I got <laughs> another desert helmet blueprint. This one looks to be a lot better than the previous one. Whee! Uh, let's see, yeah, 400 durability. Oh my god, and actually really quite cheap, all things considering. Wow. Okay, I don't have the foggiest idea where I'm going. Oh, but this area, I know I've not been here, so I guess I'll go here first. Whoa! Things are angry in here. And another Megalosaur. Oh, it's a little cute tunnel thing as well, which I think... If I turn the gamma off. I think I see a red crate. I do see a red crate. Good God! Oh, I rank. I ranked up! Wow, wait, no, this might be the old settings. Oh, I don't know if that ranked up counts or not. It might just get nerfed as soon as people join. Oh my god, I just checked. This is the current settings. I actually ranked up. How did this Thyla rank up, but Tiragosa hasn't? Oh, and I'm stuck again. Oh no. Well, that's annoying. Guess I'll just quickly do this and hope I don't get bloody yeeted midway. Do that, drop everything from you into you. Yeah, wow, no, I'm surprised. It's actually right. How did this rank up and not the Wyvern who's been doing massive whirlwinds? I'm not complaining, I'm just very surprised. Oh, that's the red drop over there. And out of curiosity, that Megalosaur is level 20. That Hakatina's 185. What? Wow, that is such an interesting place for a red drop. I'm glad I upgraded my G4. Is that another? Oh, it's just my chibi. Hello there, friend. Inside you is don't I already have leggings and oh that mantis saddle <gasps> why after i crafted all of mine of course i get that after i crafted all my saddles that's incredible 348 and for the record yep i already got cloth <laughs> of course wow that's really expensive i'm just gonna drop that one on the floor oh wait that wasn't even the oh the red crate's right there oh that was a bonus red Yo, look at that Giga. I mean, surely it's a Giga. Yeah, you never know. It might even be a character. The size of that skeleton, though, that's really cool. Like, I've seen the, in the previous game, the little uh, golden... Um, what, oh, wait, no, that's not the artifact. I'm sorry, that's not a <laughs> red drop. That is an artifact. I heard that. That's a thing on me. Oh, wait, no. Did I just freak out for nothing? I swear the earth shook as if a rock golem just spawned. I'm not going crazy. I swear the earth just shook. Well, anyway, <laughs> I was going to say that in the previous cave, like the whole golden hieroglyphic thingamabob with the implants, like we've all seen that one a million times, but I don't re really remember seeing this one. That's really, really cool. And I like how I just kind of yellowed my way in. This is clearly a much harder cave or a much uh, longer, sorry, a longer cave. <gasps> Torch skin. Ooh. Ah. Well, now, of course, the big question is, how do I get out? Uh, oh, I wonder. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Does the glowing indicate the path? Or is it just a lot more linear than I first thought? My god, the amount of megalos there. Oh, another golem. Apparently, in the wall, I guess. Oh, that's nice. Wall hacking golem. Yeah, maybe it's just a lot linear than I gave it credit for. Like, it felt like it was going to be quite a winding path. Or maybe it is because the glow worms are showing the way. Oh. Oh. Cool. Oh god, lag. Oh, that was really simple. I feel like out, please, sir. No, oh, you just <laughs> That was uncalled for. He just absolutely yeeted the crap out of Tideback. I <laughs> just sent her flying. Anyway, I feel like this really wasn't worthy of a, you know, nearly the end of school stuff. I mean, I got more things I planned to do after Manticore, but... Ah, can you please go away? Well, before I go yeeting off, I figured it's one thing I absolutely should do first. And if anyone's wondering, yeah, you can just freely transfer of artifacts. We've got the artifact of the gatekeeper and ooh, the artifact of the crag, both of which are clipping through. Why are they floating so much higher? Oh no, they're not all gonna be like that, are they? Hold on. 
Yeah, there you go. That fits really, really nicely. Oh, I hope all the others aren't, like, that high up. Cool. Lovely. <laughs> we got more for the collection. And now for the third one, the artifact of the something or other. <laughs> Lovely. Cool. Can't wait to get rid of those and shove it into the manticles, but thank you all so much for watching. I hope it was enjoyable. And uh, for the next caving episode, there will be a challenge involved and hopefully a far more entertaining one. So thanks and have a wonderful day. Cheers.